Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be making this triangle fractal effect in Blender 3.0. So to start out, let's start with a new scene. Add in a default cube or any object of your choosing and select new. We want to start off with one vertice in the geo node, so let's click mesh align. Set the count to one and put this into the output. As we can see, we have one point. Now we want to instance our fractal guide object on this point. So let's go to instance and select instance on points. For the instancer or the object that's going to be instance, we want this to be a triangle since it's a triangle fractal. Let's add in a mesh circle, set the vertices to three, and this will make it a triangle. So now we want to realize this instance. That's a very important part. Many projects break if you do not do this. And now we want to turn these meshes into points because points can store radius data. So let's go into mesh and select mesh to points. And so we can see here's the radius. We could scale this up and down, up and down, and it's all good. Now what we want to do is make this into a group so that we could iterate on this effect. So let's select all this. Select group and select make group. As we can see, we have a group right here with all the points and everything inside. Let's add in three of these and move them over here. Yep, that'll become important later for organizational purposes. As we can see, we're all, we are already getting multiple points, but they're not scaling properly. So let's go into here. And what we want to do next is make it so that each group has a different number to it, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's add in a math node, select an input over to here, set this to 1, and put the output right there. So this will make it so that every time a new node group happens, it'll add 1 to it. But what we also need to do is make sure that these are hooked up to each other, right here and right here. I'll actually put these right here so that we could see where the connections are easier and set this first value to one. So it's one, two, three, perfect. So now what we want to do is hook up the value to the scale right here and the radius right here. And as we could see, the effect is kind of working, but it's still a little off. It's not working quite right. It's not scaling correctly. So what we do need to do next is add in a math node, select power and set the power base to two hook up the input right there and the output right there. Now we can see that um, it's still acting weird. Well, that's because we need to add in a divide node, divide and set the value to one. Make sure this is on the second socket or else it won't work. As we can see, the, uh, these are scaling down properly. I don't exactly know why this setup works. I found out it does and there's probably a mathematical reason, but I don't entirely know. I just know that it does work like a famous developer has said, it just works. Now what we're going to do is join all the iterations together. So we go into geometry and select join geometry. What we want to do is hook up this to here and this to there. And as we could see, it's kind of working. We could see that it's scaling properly. So let's go into here, select both of these and just click F twice and I'll hook up the nodes automatically. It's very useful. I just found that out recently. I'll add in another one. Oh wait, F is not working. Oh well. Let's add in those together. Put that right there. As we can see, it's scaling kind of properly. But what we want to do now is instance a point, uh, an object of our choosing on these points with the correct scale. Let's go into instances, instance on points. Now let's make an object, uh, just a icosphere. Plug that into there. And the scaling's not working, but we can fix that really easily. Since the points have a radius, let's use a radius input and put this into there. Now, as you can see, it's working. Let's scale this down. Now you can see the beautiful fractal in all of its polygonal glory. Let's connect more, put another one in there, and you could just keep adding these over and over and over again. But it does get kind of resource heavy over time, so I'm just going to do another one just to show how detailed this can be. Very nice. As you can see, we can zoom in and there's just more and more fractals. So now let's add an object from outside the node group. 
let's add in a circle set the vertices to three which is already done because i did other takes of this tutorial that didn't work and f to make a face let's extrude this up scale this down to zero extrude this down scale to zero to make it more like the finished product and what we could do is drag this from the outliner into here and then hook this up into the instance as we could see the scale is wrong and all that stuff but we could just rotate this about 30 degrees then scale this down actually let's rotate this about 90 degrees no 60 degrees scale this up so it's just like the end result that i showed at the beginning and let's move this up so as you can see we already have the effect that we want and it's very very cool very interesting but we could go even further if we want we could add in a an actual circle and set this to 12. let's uh move this towards the center because i think it was off center and we could just extrude, do it like this, and then you already have like these cool circle things. You could just go wild with this concept. Use any object you want. But yeah, I think this is the end of the tutorial. Hopefully this worked out. Give me feedback in the comments. Subscribe if you want to, of course. Check out my Twitter, Gumroad, all the stuff that real YouTubers do. And I will see you next time.